Hello and welcome to another video. Today I will be showcasing my color swap program which I made with Python in Visual Studio Code. So the main goal of this program is to swap out the colors of a texture to match all 16 dye colors in Minecraft. So in this program right here, this is GIMP, this is not my program, but as you can see I have this texture right here and there are multiple colors, different shades that will make up the texture. And so what originally what I would have to do is switch out each shade with the new color. So for example, if I wanted to change this to red, I would come over here, I would grab this color, and I would switch out this color with that shade, and I would have to do it for every shade for every color. And I spent way too much time on that, so I decided wouldn't it be easier to just create a program that did it for me? So that's what I did. So in here, this is the code. It's all in Python, and I wrote this in Visual Studio Code. Um, but don't worry to use this, you do not need any coding knowledge whatsoever. And uh, this will actually create the add-on files for you, so all you have to do is put in your texture, give it a name, and it'll create a fully working add-on, or at least the files for it, and I'll show you how to put those into an add-on file so you can put that in the game. So when you start off in the program, you'll see some instructions. Uh, the video link obviously isn't there because I'm recording it now. But you'll have to install just a couple extensions into Visual Studio Code, which is pretty simple. You just copy and paste this into the terminal. So after you do that, then you'll need to find the folder path of the color swap program, which I have open right here. So in these four files, you will find the textures, the recipes, the behaviors, and some additional files that it'll make automatically for you. So once you open the code and install the extensions, then you need to find the folder path. And to do that, you're just gonna right click color swap and click copy address as text. Once you've done that, you can just highlight inside the quotations, and paste it, and you'll see that you have some weird slashes that mess up the code and so what you'll have to do is replace them with backslashes like which are used in Minecraft commands but once you replace the slashes it should look something like this so you're gonna to wanna to keep the R because that's important for the program to work but other than that um, that's basically it another step that you might wanna do is uh, make sure your screen resolution is correct so for example, for my laptop that I'm using, my screen resolution is 1920 by 1080. A good way to check that is just take a screenshot by clicking the Windows key and the Print Screen button at the same time. Uh, and then you can find the properties of the photo of the screenshot and find the resolution. And then you're going to want to put the width here and the height here. And yeah, that's about it. Under here is the code, so do not change any of that or it will not work. Um, but yeah, so now let me run the code and show you how it works. Okay, once you run it, it's going to open this window, uh, color swap, the title, and then some instructions, just a couple things you need to do for it to work. So, first off, let's upload an image. Um, we can choose any texture you want as long as it's 16 by 16. So let's go with, let's go with packed mud, why not? So once we put that in there, it should say packedmud.png. Name of the block, we're gonna do, let's just call it mud. Identifier, um, I usually use exp, so I'm just gonna keep it as exp. Block sound, um, for this video I'm just gonna say stone. And then you have two additional options, create behaviors and create recipes. So if you click create behaviors, then it'll automatically create 16 behavior files for your blocks that you can copy and paste into your add-on but the only problem with these behaviors is it'll give them all the same properties such as the destroy time and the flammability of the block so you'll have to change those manually but at least it gives you a template for your block behaviors and then you also have the option to create recipes when you check this it will say recipe ingredient so minecraft planks will result in planks and die being in the ingredients so you have to add the identifier of the block, so Minecraft, and then I'm gonna say packed mud. And then, so if you wanted to do a custom block, you would have to change Minecraft to whatever your identifier is. 
But so how this is going to work is when you open up the crafting table or just your inventory, you will need two ingredients to make your block, whatever block or item you put in here, and the die color. And then we're going to click enter. Now it'll bring up two more windows, the do not close until finish and the swap colors. So for this window, do not touch it, do not move it. It needs to stay exactly where it is on the screen or else it will not work. And then for this window, all we have to do is click generate colors and it'll automatically go through all 16 colors, create the texture and save them to our file. Okay, now that that's done, we can open up our color swap folder and inside here, if we open up the textures folder, we will find all 16 textures automatically created for us. And if we go into recipes, we'll see all 16 recipes. And for example, if I open up this one, you'll see it's made with Minecraft packed mud and Minecraft black dye. And that will make us our black mud block. And then we also have the additional files in here, such as the blocks.json file, uh, the language file for the English language, and the terrain texture file. And then if we open up the behaviors folder, then we can find all 16 mud block behaviors. And so you'll see the seconds to destroy is automatically set to three. Destructible by explosion is true and flammable is false. But then each block will have its correct map color. So when you open up a map and you see the block on the map, you will see the correct color for each block. Okay, so now that we have that, we can open up our color swap behavior pack or whatever yours is called. You will need your own manifest and your own pack icon, but everything else will be done for you. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the blocks folder and we're gonna find the behaviors folder in our color swap and we're gonna copy everything and paste it into the blocks folder in the behavior pack. And then we're gonna go into recipes do the same thing, find the recipes folder, select all, copy, or you could just drag them in and paste them. And now we have all the recipes and that's it for the behavior pack. Now we are gonna pull up the resource pack. And so, let me minimize that, okay. So now we have textures, blocks. We're gonna find our textures folder. We're gonna select all. I'm just gonna drag them in or you can copy them and here we have all 16 of our textures. We're gonna go back into the textures folder. We're gonna go into files, find the terrain texture, drag that in there. And we have our terrain texture, so our list of textures for every block. And then we're gonna go back into the main resource pack folder. We're gonna drag in our blocks.json. And now we're gonna finally go into our text folder and copy our language file in there. And that will give each block its name. So light blue mud or whatever color. And now our add-on is complete. So if I load up Minecraft, we should find our new mud blocks in the game. Okay, so I'm creating a world and as you can see, we have color swap resource pack and color swap behavior pack. Now yours will probably be called something different because I don't know why you would call yours color swap, but this is just what I called mine for today's video. And so now we're gonna click create world and we're gonna load into the world and find our new blocks. Now you will have to use the slash give command. Oh, well, well <laughs> this is perfect. We're in a swamp biome with mud all over so we can test out our new mud blocks. I actually did not put in a seed. This is completely random. That's amazing. Okay, so in your inventory, you will find at least some of the mud blocks. Um, not all of them will be in the inventory because currently the Minecraft inventory is kind of bugged with custom blocks. They don't all appear. It's kind of weird. But So you will have to use the slash give command to get a lot of them. So if you type slash give at self and then you type your identifier and you will find all your mud blocks or at least all your custom blocks that you made. So I can choose any color, so mud, I don't know what color I don't have already. Uh, let me try yellow, mud yellow. So now I will grab that and there we go, our custom blocks. It, it was super easy, it took me like not even a minute to make or maybe for the video it took a little longer but if I was just making this on my own it would save me so much time. 
rather than spending an hour on just retexturing all the blocks. Super easy, super user friendly to use. All you have to do is upload an image and change some names of the blocks and the recipes and that's about it. So that's going to wrap up today's video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video. And make sure to comment down below with any suggestions you have to make add-on making so much easier. Also make sure to go check out my Twitter community called MC Bedrock Modding. There you can share your creations and give feedback to other Minecraft modders and add-on makers. Well that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you liked it and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.